Hello Driving Intelligence Community. I've had several subscribers ask me about the electric fan kit I installed on my 2002 F-150. I bought this kit a few years ago to improve fuel economy and along with several other bolt-on parts I've improved the fuel economy of this truck quite dramatically. If you haven't seen those videos I'll link those below. This is a pretty easy install. Uh, the only thing that's difficult about it is removing the clutch driven fan. Uh, what you need to do is get a, uh, a tool from a local auto parts store. It's a rental tool for removal of that clutch driven fan. I'll put a link below in case you want to buy it. Uh, but at least you can get a reference of what this looks like uh, when you go and rent the tool at the auto parts store. So first let's talk about what these electric fan kit companies uh, commit to when you buy this. They say this will reduce about 12 pounds of rotational mass. Those clutch driven fans are heavy so I can validate that. Uh, should give you somewhere between 10 to 15 rear wheel horsepower. Um, that's quite a, a substantial claim. I have not tested that uh, but I'll get into later what my seat the pants feel is. And also um, they uh, come with a wiring harness that allows you to, uh, to run this with your air conditioning system so the fan automatically turns on to keep airflow across your condenser when you're running your air conditioning in the summer. The first time I started this up I noticed that the engine warms up more quickly. You don't have the clutch driven fan pulling air across the radiator which keeps that, that coolant cool. So the engine will warm up faster in the winter you'll get heat faster in the cab and also the, uh, the vehicle will go in closed loop so you should get a little bit better fuel economy. Depending on conditions generally the fan will not be running while you're driving down the highway so there shouldn't be any amp draw or any load on your alternator um, while you're driving down the road because the airflow coming across the radiator is, enough, is sufficient to cool down the coolant instead of having to have a fan running all the time as you would with a clutch driven fan. The electric fan runs at a higher speed at idle therefore this should make your air conditioning system much more efficient pulling that cool air across your condenser. You know, At idle your clutch driven fan is running much slower so it's not pulling that much air across your, uh, your condenser and your radiator. So this should make uh, for a more comfortable cab in hot summer temperatures especially if you're stuck in traffic. In terms of charging the fan has never caused me a problem with a dead battery or low charging no matter what I'm running. If I'm running everything, fan on high lights, etc. And I've got another drive pulley kit on my vehicle, so my alternator is turning more slowly anyway. So even with this combination um, on my truck, I've never had a problem with the charging system. The last little nicety is that once you install this and you don't have that big clutch driven fan in the way, you have much more accessibility to your water pump in the future, your idler pulley, your, uh, your tensioner, your power steering pump. So it gives you a little bit more room where you don't have to take that big clutch driven fan or at least scratch yourself trying to get around that thing to get the different front end components on your engine. Now what problems have I observed? Well I bought my kit from Lightning Force Performance and they, uh, they specialize in high performance for Lightnings and Harley Davidson F-150s and as you know I have a Harley Davidson F-150 but I wanted to install this kit on my XLT 4x4 before I put it on the, uh, the Harley Davidson. I wanted to make sure I was going to get uh, good performance from this kit. It wasn't going to cause any problems from my truck. Uh, well their wiring harness is not as robust as I'd like it to be. I was constantly blowing out relays. They would overheat, melt, I'd have to replace the relay. I went back to them, they were nice enough to send me another wiring harness with the relays, but still I was blowing out uh, relays every once in a while. I guess maybe I got my hands on some uh, heavy duty relays, I put those in and I've not had a problem for a few years now. But I have to always keep an eye on my temperatures and make sure that, that fan is operating properly. Um, so that, that is a problem, I, I'm sorry I can't recommend that kit. Uh, but it is nice that that kit did come with a Ford uh, electric fan. It comes with a Ford electric fan so you know that that's going to be durable and robust. It's just a wiring harness that I, I'm a little nervous about recommending to anybody else. And I'm not sure if this is a problem but at idle you definitely hear that fan running. You, I didn't hear my clutch driven fan but you hear this fan. It's, it's loud uh, especially outside the cab or if you have your windows open. If your windows are closed you're, not, you're going to hear it but it's not that obtrusive. But that's only at idle. If you're driving down the road or on the highway, you're not going to hear it at all. So uh, there's a little bit more noise, but, um, but it, for me, it's not a problem. Now I am including a link below for the Flexalite kit. The Flexalite makes kits for a lot of different applications, so 
Maybe you don't have an F-150, you've got a Silverado or one of, some other truck that still runs a clutch-driven fan. Uh, you can go to Flexalite and check that out. But I'm not recommending them. I'm just giving you the link to take a look at. Uh, I've never tested it, so I don't know what their performance is. Um, it comes with a wiring harness. So this one, the wiring harness with the Flexalite, the full Flexalite kit, will turn your air conditioning on. So that, uh, that is a nice fun a feature. But uh, again, you'll have to do your own research to find a kit that is suitable for you. There are a lot of people that build these from scratch. There's a company I've heard of that actually sells a really heavy-duty wiring harness. You're never going to have a problem with this. I might upgrade my system to that in the future if I have another problem with my wiring harness. But you'll have to do some uh, um, research on the Internet to find these components. Again, I, I don't like recommending things I haven't tested. so. It's best if you do your research or go to some other locations, uh, maybe online. Facebook has some great forums. And check those out to see if, uh, if, the, if anybody else can recommend a kit that they've had great success with. Now let's go down to the truck and I'll show you the installation. Under the hood, it looks like I've got a pretty stock setup until you get close. You see there's the electric fan. And it was, there was a clutch-driven fan attached to that water pump. Not there anymore. Here's the wiring harness coming off. The wiring harness goes up to the control function for this electric fan. This is where you have uh, your on function for both temperature and air conditioning. Uh, this is where I was having problems with blown out relays. The wiring harness from Lightning Force Performance, which I don't, I'm sorry, I can't recommend, um, was causing a lot of problems and I've seen on the internet where other people were complaining about this. Uh, I had to continuously replace relays. They did send me another wiring harness under warranty. Uh, but even after I replaced this wiring harness, I was still having some blown out relays. I think I might have sourced some very good relays that uh, are much more heavy duty that can handle the heat. So I haven't had a problem in a while. But with that being said, this connector here takes you to a switch that is installed inside the cab that you can use to turn on the fan anytime you want. Um, that, I think the Lightning Force put this on here so that when you're drag racing your truck, and this, I think this kit was designed specifically for the Lightning, but when you're dragging and you want to cool your engine down or your engine bay without the engine running, you can turn this fan on. I think that's what it's designed for. But it takes you all the way across, and over here, you'll see this fuse box with relays. Here you get power coming in, switch power, and here, is the uh, the wire that goes to the HVAC relay. When you turn the HVAC on, it turns the fan on to cool down your condenser. And that green wire right there goes down to a sensor that goes into the block and uh, it pops to ground whenever it gets a certain temperature. Mine is set at 195 degrees. I've got a 185 degree thermostat and I do have a computer tune that handles 185 degrees. So this works perfectly for me. And of course, that contact will open again when the temperature gets low enough. Here you see the switch I was referring to. I did a custom switch in this case. You should be able to hear that. I turned it on. It's running right now. There's no key in the ignition. So, uh, so this is a safety feature, at least for me, to make sure that if those relays pop again, I've got a way to turn that fan on. The last thing I want to show you is the sensor that I installed on the side of the block. This is on the driver's side. There's a threaded plug there that you'll remove and you'll reinstall a sensor, a threaded sensor, using your uh, thread, uh, thread sealant or Teflon tape. Uh, you want to carefully choose this sensor. I chose 195 degrees because I got a 185 degree thermostat in there, which is also aligned with the tune I've put on this truck. So you want to make sure all those uh, factors are aligned. The best time to do this is when you're flushing the system because you don't have to worry about all that fluid coming out in your face. But if you want to be daring and do it quickly, uh, make sure that you got that sensor in hand and uh, put it in quickly after you pull that threaded plug out. In closing, I would say this is one of my top upgrades for the F-150 or for any vehicle with a clutch-driven fan. Uh, I achieved my objective of getting better fuel economy. But uh, beyond that, I was kind of surprised that I had much better uh, throttle response. I, I didn't expect it. I wasn't looking for a drag racer. I just thought that uh, I would just get better fuel economy. On the highway, it's really amazing. At uh, When I bought this vehicle with 165,000 miles on it, at 70 miles per hour, it didn't even feel like it could get, it could get out of its own way. But with the other bolt-ons and this fan kit, the, the truck is a completely different animal. It uh, drives down at 80 miles an hour. It doesn't even feel like it's breathing hard. 
So, uh, so there is a big benefit to this, and there's a lot of room for improvement in these vehicles. I just touched on one area in this video, which is the electric fan kit. But if you watch my other videos, you'll see there's a lot of other things you can do to, the, to improve the performance of these older trucks. I hope you like this video. Please give me that thumbs up. I need it. Uh, please subscribe. Please comment below if you've uh, done anything like this before. I'd love to hear from you and what kind of kits you're using. I think the rest of the community would be interested in what kind of kits other people use or if you've made your own custom kit. That's even more impressive. Please uh, comment on that below. And I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.